Got a new ECU in your ride and now the car won't start or throws weird codes? Yeah. Without programming the VIN, your car basically thinks that ECU doesn't belong. Hey, I'm Tom from Car Justify. I've seen this plenty. Folks swap in a used ECU to save money, only to hit a wall with the security system. So here's the deal. Your car's computer talks to the ECU, and one of the first things it checks is the vehicle identification number. If that number doesn't match what the car's expecting, the immobilizer system can shut things down. First thing you need, a decent scan tool that can handle VIN programming. Not just any OBD scanner. This has to be one with advanced functions. Some brands like Autel or Launch have mid-range tools that can get the job done. Before you dive in, make sure your battery's fully charged. A voltage drop mid-programming can brick the ECU, and trust me, you don't want that. Now plug in your scanner, turn the key to the on position, engine off, and navigate to the ECU programming or immobilizer section. Every car's menu looks a little different, but most will have a VIN write or program VIN option. Enter the full 17-digit VIN exactly as it shows on your dash or door sticker. Triple check it. One wrong digit and it won't take. Once that's in, the scanner should confirm the VIN was written successfully. At this point, turn off the ignition, wait a few seconds, then start the car. If all went well, you're in the clear. Still not starting? You might need to do a full key or immobilizer relearn too. On some models, especially newer ones, the ECU and the immobilizer module need to sync up again. For that, go back into the scanner and look for an immobilizer reset or security relearn option. Follow the prompts. It may take a few minutes. Some cars will need a special four-digit or rolling security code from the dealer to finish this part. If that's the case, call your dealer with your VIN and proof of ownership. Now, for folks without a scanner that can handle this, some locksmiths or shops will do this cheaper than the dealership. Call around, ask if they can program a used ECU and write the VIN. And just so you know, some cars won't accept a used ECU at all unless it's cloned. So before swapping anything, do a little research on your specific make and model. Saves a lot of hassle. To wrap up, yes, you can program the VIN yourself if you've got the right tool and patience. Make sure the ECU is compatible, use a scanner with the right features, and don't rush through it. If this saved you a trip to the dealer or just made things clearer, hit that like button. And if you're into real-world car fixes without the fluff, subscribe for more. I'll catch you in the next one, right here on Car Justify.